guys, so this is Elizabeth editing. I forgot to like do an intro. I don't I don't know how that happens. I me and Emma just got talking and then we were answering questions and we didn't do anything. So anyway, uh, hi, welcome back to me talking about my version of Marauders and Podcast form with Emma. Um yeah, that's all I have to say. I'm just I I don't know how it how it happened. I I don't. Hello? Hello? Okay. Okay. I think we're good. All right. We did it this time. I like feel confident now. (laughs) I can hear you. This is great. All right. You know what I did do last night? I asked questions. I did see that on Instagram and I was kind of (laughs) shocked. I know. So was I. (laughs) Um, All right. So basically just everybody wants to know um, updates on on life. So, uh, last time we talked, we had not started, like, actual classes or anything. Yeah. So, Mm -hmm. how's that, how's that going for you? You can start. I, I like all my classes. I have, like, three, like, kind of hard ones, and then two that are, like, really fun that I love, and those two are my Tuesday and Thursday classes. So my Tuesday and Thursdays are fantastic. Oh, we love, (laughs) But yeah. What are the ones that you don't like? It's not that I don't like them, it's just, like, my two, like, fun ones are, like, basketball and sign language, and those ones oh, are just, yeah. like, really fun. Yeah. yeah. And then I've also gotten to know, like, a bunch of, like, the girls in my hall, and, like, last night we all watched, like, Pirates of the Caribbean and just, like, talked forever, so that was awesome. So fun. Oh, we didn't explain why you have a space behind you. <laughs> There's no real rhyme or reason to that. Yeah, uh, it was just, we had to look through the settings for microphone stuff, and there was a be in space option. So, now Emma's in <laughs> space. I did also tell, like, ten people about the podcast. Yo! Go off! <laughs> That's so exciting! So people people know you're famous now. People, people know. Well, because, so- like, one of them, she was, like, in our room, and she was like, what's the microphone about? And then later last night, we were talking about, like, books and stuff, and we were talking about the Marauders, and one girl was like, I'm way more invested in the Marauders, and just, like, read the fanfics, and I was like... (laughs) Um, But yeah, so that's exciting. Yeah, my... So last time I had talked, I had just met um, the one person here who who has heard of me, Julia. We love Julia. Um... (laughs) And so that's how I told my first roommate. So I eventually told my other roommates as well. They were all really chill about it. Um, and my one of my roommates um, is Loki a Marauders fan. So that's kind of fun. She's read all the young dudes like several times, but she okay. was in. She's she's kind of not really in it anymore. Like she was really in it like a year ago. And so I'm trying to not like push it, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Because yeah. I'm like this. She's she's kind of done with that. But you know. Um, but still really fun. So she like knows what I was, what I'm talking about. And she was like, oh, like probably saw some of your TikToks, you know, a year ago. Um, Cause she's like, I was totally awesome. into all that. So yeah, so that was really cool. And then the day after we recorded, um, I'm just walking to class. It was our first, or it wasn't the day after we recorded, but anyway, first day of class. Um, My entire like website, like entire school system website went down for like the whole morning that morning. And everybody's mm. schedules are on that. And yep. so nobody knew what their room numbers were. You know, people had kind of looked Fun. to see, like, what the buildings were. But yeah. the way that we could, like, actually look at what our room numbers were, the whole thing was down. My English teacher didn't even know where her next class was. She was like, I'm supposed to be teaching it. I don't know yeah. where it is. I it still, was like, a... check every time. Same, just in case. <laughs> um... But anyway, so that was happening, and so I'm just walking, you know, to this building, and I'm like, I don't know where my next class is, so I was like, I had gotten lucky the past time by just being like, I don't know where my next class was, and she was like, I don't know either, but then, like, we were in the same class, so I just tried my luck again, and I was like, okay, I don't know where I'm going, you don't either, I'm guessing, and she was like, no, and then she's like, you look so familiar, and I was like, oh, did we meet at orientation or something? Sorry, I'm so bad with, like, all of this (laughs) new meeting stuff, and she was like, you have that podcast, don't you? And I was like, Girl. <laughs> And so I walked up to a random stranger, and she knew me. 
<gasps> I've, I was like, <laughs> genuinely still don't know how to react. Um, so her name was Elsa. So Elsa, I haven't seen you since, but uh, I follow you on Instagram now and you seem really chill. <laughs> One of the girls who I told about it yesterday, her name is Ilsa. Ilsa. Oh, nice. Love that. Um, yeah, anyway, let's go back to just a couple more questions. There's a lot here, but I feel like that's a good... Oh, how... And I didn't say how my classes are. My classes are all great. Um, the only thing that's kind of weird right now is, like, my health <laughs> still is just kind of weird. And so, like... Um, I already dropped a class. I'm going to meet with my advisor next week. I might drop some more. Um, Me too. But I, it's, it's hard because I love all of my classes, but it's just I have to schedule in time to rest. And so um, I'm going to see what things in my major I can put off till next semester and kind of go with that. But other than that, it's great. Like, I love it here. So it's all good. And Snuffles loves it here too, although she is kind of mad because I'm not letting her out of my room to go see uh, sweet mates right now. Yeah, you're a good girl, though. Snuffles. She, she loves it here, like, genuinely. <laughs> okay. Um, A lot of people have just said, why a nope? Like, like I was like, hey, do you have any questions? And they were like, why? And I was like, hey, do you have any questions? I should just start like, saying, nah, I don't have any questions. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um... Yeah, everybody's just asking about college stuff. It's so- they're all so nice. Um, somebody asked if I've watched Heartstopper. Yes! I love those comments. I have not- I really- I actually got so close last night, and then I was way too tired and I fell asleep. <laughs> like, I was genuinely gonna be like, I watched the first episode, and then I didn't watch it. Um... Um, so, so, Kristen, I'm not gonna say your last name because we don't do that on here, but Kristen asked a question, and it was, who is your favorite member of her family? Um, so I'm gonna go with Kristen. <laughs> I am also gonna say Kristen. <laughs> okay, that's nice, good to know. <laughs> oh yeah, this is sad, this is sad because Kristen's there and she can't- question. Oh yeah, I did! <laughs> 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 this is so sad because Kristen can't hear. She, she can't hear the the tea today. Oh, that's she so sad. She just looked up like. <laughs> okay, I think I think we're good. I feel like I feel like we can just jump into it. I'm really excited about this episode. It's gonna be fun. That's I what will I figured. say. I do have a picture of Kristen's sister on my wall. Oh, because yeah, yeah, of Lauren. Yeah. I mean, we like, Kristen's Lauren. on there, too, and, like, so are you, but, like, I think it's funny <laughs> that I just have a picture of Lauren. <laughs> oh, I'm on your wall. You know who's on my wall? The Beatles. The Beatles. <laughs> well, I'm not at the Beatles level yet. They weren't Marauders fans. No, I don't have any, like, pictures. I was gonna bring some, and then I just didn't, so. That's it. The only so... picture I have is of Rocky. Because we miss Rocky. I also have this. Oh, obviously. You gotta. So, shall we, shall we, um... Let's slip and slide on in. Slip and slide on in. We've definitely done that before. But I, but I did that, like, for real yesterday. So you did? Relevant. You went slip and sliding? Wow, mm -hmm. I'm so excited. Okay. Okay, so do you remember what happened at the very end of the last episode? Do, shall oh. we have a little refresher? Yeah, there was that scene with James. Mm -hmm. and I was like, where he was, like, where he was like date Thomas. Yeah. So anyway, so we're gonna pick up literally right <laughs> there. So I I ended it with like him leaving, and so we're gonna pick up with him outside of the door. <laughs> Cause man says like. What did I just do? <laughs> and so, okay. So, so he literally walks in. It, so he walks out and he's like, oh no, I messed up. And so he definitely thought about like going back in and being like, wait, just no, kidding. Me, I love you. You should date <laughs> me instead. Um, but he decided to go with instead, go with what he started doing a while ago, which was taking a modified version of his own advice. 
That is, if it's something that James in fifth year would have done, he's not gonna do it. Um, You're gonna say he just, like, goes on a run. Honestly, (laughs) yeah. He's like, oh no. Anyway, so so if it's something James in fifth year would have done, he stops. So he decides to not burst back in and be like, no, just kidding. (laughs) Yeah, no. But he still, like, stands there for a while, just like, what do I even do at this point? Um... (laughs) What the heck did he just do? And so he's, and so he just, he, the second he thinks of them, like, dating, he's like, oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate it so much. He's like, I, Thomas is great, but, like, Mm -hmm. no, no, he's, he's, no. I did forget to show this last time. I, I do have Jeffrey here. Jeffrey! So we love, we love him. We love our little Jeffers. Um, anyway, so he's, like, not happy about Thomas at all. Um, so then James thinks back to, like, when he first hated Thomas. And hadn't everybody told him that he was, like, in the wrong when he was like, man, Thomas is the worst. And they're all like, dude, no, he's not. (sighs) And so, and hadn't Sirius, like, very clearly told him that, like, he was jealous and he needed to stop. And so right now he's like, now I am very clearly jealous, so I should just stop. So anyway, so everybody had already told him to, like, hey, calm down. Like, this is Lily's thing. So he's like, well, shoot, now I gotta calm down because this is Lily's thing or whatever. Um, And so finally he leaves and he walks up back up to his dorm to find everybody playing in a very intense game of Uno, which Remus is winning by magicking like his own cards into Sirius's hand. Um, <laughs> As you should. Yeah. Every few minutes, like when he and Peter start like arguing, he just like gets rid of his cards and, and they end up in Sirius's hand. Um, and so he walks in and they're like, dude, what's wrong? Um, and he's like, shoot, I don't look good then. Um, and so he's like, I don't know. I was hanging out with like the first years all day. I'm just real tired. Um, and they're like, okay. Um, Sir James. They're like, nice. But they're they're really interested in you know. So frankly, how could you blame them? Um, and so he like gets ready for bed quietly. And then he gets to his bed and he sees the Marauder's map on the table um, by like in the on um, like the bedside table that's like between him and Sirius's bed. And he just looks at it for a while, and in his mind, he's like, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. And then he does it. And so then he opens it, (laughs) and so he's, like, trying to be casual and not, like, show the others what he's doing, but he looks at the map, he looks at the prefect common room where he and Lily had just been, and she's not there. And she's not in her room either. And he sh- he should have just stopped there, but he keeps on going. And so then right outside of the Hufflepuff common room, it's her and Thomas. And their dots are very close together, and James is like, shoot. Um, and so he closes the map and just lays down in bed and just pulls the curtains closed behind him. And he just sits there for a long time, just thinking about everything and about the fact that, like, no matter what he did, he could not, like, stop being interested in Lily. Like, it had been years. <laughs> And even though, like, he seems to, even when he was like, oh my gosh, I hated her, he's like, I'm pretty sure I still liked her then. Um, He, like, had a chance that summer, too. mm -hmm, Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And yet, here he was, he just told her, like, yeah, go date Thomas, and, like, to go have a relationship with someone else. And, like, yeah, no. And and that isn't even the first time, because this summer, he, like, did that also. Like, they were like, yeah, go have fun with, like, other people or whatever. So, yeah. Um... So yeah, there's still a lot on his mind, but the one question that like kept him up all that night was, would she still have kissed him if he hadn't told her to? You know? Because she only did it because James said so. And that just keeps him up for, for the rest of the night. Because doesn't that mean something? Anyway. Anyway, lovely Poor first James. scene. Mm. <laughs> Poor James. Um... Anyway, but, you know, he goes on his morning run the next, the next morning. He's, he's, he's not, like, dying, you know? Um, <sighs> so anyway, so the next morning at breakfast, the boys are rowdy, um, and James is kind of forcing himself to be rowdy with them because they're all arguing about Uno the night before. <laughs> because um, they're all arguing about whether or not Remus was cheating <laughs> or not. And Remus is like, I'm not cheating. It's not cheating. There was nothing in the rules that said that you couldn't use magic to move your cards. And the serious Does is like, anyone there's... follow the rules of Uno though? <laughs> like you just kind of gotta like. So true. Like so the true. official rules are not what I feel like is normally played. 
Well, I play by the official rules. I don't do like the okay. stacking, the plus two, plus four thing. It's kind of fun that. though. But it, it it's anyway. But anyway, seriously, <laughs> it's like there there's not magic in the rules. It's a muggle game, so like, no. How does he know? Um, and then Peter's like, I don't know. He's got a point, you know. Like it didn't say no magic in the rules. <laughs> Seriously, like, what the heck? Anyway, but it all comes to a stop when Lily and Thomas enter the Great Hall. Um, and Remus, like, sees her out of the corner of his eye, and he looks up, and he's like, I'm gonna get her opinion on the whole Uno thing. So he, like, stands up, tries to get her attention, and then he just stops. And he, because they hadn't just come in together. They're, like, holding hands and, like, smiling. And Remus is like, what the frick are they doing? <laughs> Like, very loudly <laughs> as he's standing there, and all the other boys go look too, but James just kind of looks for a second and sees them and then just goes back to his breakfast. Like, with, like, is it? He's like, yep. Yeah. Um, and Peter's like, what the heck? And Sirius just stares. And Lily and Thomas then go to the Hufflepuff table and sit together. No. Which is basically. Wow. <laughs> wow. We like Thomas. There's no need to be rude. But. (laughs) Okay, anyway. Um, So, but yeah, so that's like a sign in Hogwarts that you're like official. You know, if like that happens, it's like, oh, okay. Um, Anyway, so, you know, all of his, all of Thomas's friends are like, yo, like, they're clapping him on the back and being like, go off. Um, And Thomas is like bright red and excited and happy we love thomas anyway uh but remus looks back at james and he's like i'm sorry james did you see that and james is like yeah and he's like did you see did you see lily and he's like yeah she she and thomas were were holding hands remus and remus is like (laughs) but you and james is like me and he's like, why are you so calm about this? And the others are like, too. They're like, what the heck? And he's like, oh, well, you know, honestly, she, she mentioned it to me, like, last night. Um, and they're like, you, and you didn't tell us? And he's like, it's her business. You are okay? playing Uno. <laughs> he's like, y'all are very busy. So Remus, like, sits down with, like, a thump. And James rolls his eyes, and he's like, oh, come on. Like, you can't Remus act, seems like- more, like, offended by this than James. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. For sure. As of right now, yeah. Um, and James is like, oh, come on. Like, you can't act like this is some kind of surprise. Like, everybody knew that they were going to get together. Um, and James isn't, like, happy, but he's like, come on, guys. Um, and, but Remus goes, yeah, I, but I didn't. And <laughs> James is like, why not? And he goes, because frankly, I thought she would realize by now that she should be with you. And, like, <laughs> I like Thomas, but I like James more. I know. And so just James just like stares across at Remus. At the, who's like across from him at the table. And Remus just, just looks right back. Um, and James is like, she doesn't want to be with me. And Remus just snorts. And he's like, just like, you don't want to be with her? Mm-hmm, for sure. And, and James is like, what the heck? And so he like looks back and forth. Remus and Sirius, and he's like, have you been talking to him? Um, like, to Sirius. And Sirius is like, no, I haven't. And then Remus is like, so you do, and you've been telling Sirius. <laughs> and James is like, no. That's, he's like, no, that's not what I, and, and, um, and Remus is like, what else would you tell him that I wouldn't know? Come on. Um, and so James is like, that it's complicated. Like, really, it's, it's complicated. Um, is and it he's like, Yeah, because, and then he's like, and maybe if all this ish hadn't happened to her in September, like, maybe something would have happened then, but it didn't, so. So now she's with, wait, she's with Thomas. And, like, Remus just looks silent and is like, dude, like, what the heck? Um, but he's like, listen, I'm sorry. And James cuts him off and he's like, no, it's fine. Like, it really is. I, I told her that she should be with him. And Sirius is like, you told him, you you what, you did what now? Um, and he's like, yeah, last night he kissed her, 
and she said it was too soon to date after, you know, September, and I said she should date him. And nobody says anything, and they're all just like, James, what the heck? What? <laughs> um, and, he, and James is like, he's a good guy. I really do think she should, they should, they should date. Um, and like, Ravis and Sirius are just like, dude, what the heck? Um, but then Peter, who's like sitting next to James, is like, I think that was really good of you, James. <laughs> and James is like, Thanks, Pete. <laughs> and Peter's like the <laughs> only one who like kind of gets it, and yeah. <laughs> um, so that's kind of fun and funky. Anyway, next scene. I mean, you can't just say anyways. <laughs> yes, I can. I do it all the time. Okay, fine. <laughs> wow. Thanks, Peter. Um, You're a real one for that. Not your later <laughs> actions. We don't condone Peter. <laughs> later but right now it's fine you know <laughs> um anyway so then um Remus meets lily in history of magic and he's like what the heck Girl, what are you doing and he's like so we just decided to uh not tell your friends that you're dating thomas what's up with that and really Lily's not like, telling oh. your friends that you're dating remus <laughs> he's he's bringing that up so true so true <laughs> but he really is um and so lily's like okay listen like i figured james would have told you guys so you know we decided to focus on thomas's friends and he's like yeah you know what james did tell us after you walked into breakfast and we're like canoodling and she's like we were canoodling <laughs> and he's like you it was pretty close <laughs> like it was a bit much you know <laughs> they like held hands <laughs> um but but anyway, so he's like, so, how's it been dating him? And she's like, it's been 12 hours. <laughs> and he's like, and? <laughs> you know, is it good? <laughs> and she's like, yeah, she's like, it's great. Um, and then Rebus is like, okay, how did it happen? And she tells him, she's like, well, we've just been talking for a while. And then suddenly he's telling me, like, how happy he was that, you know, he decided to talk to me that one day. And I was like, same. Um, and I told him, like, how much happier I've been since since that day, like, since I met him. Um, and he, he said that he was, you know, taking a big chance, but he had to tell me how he felt about me. And he said he wanted to, you know, date and stuff. And <laughs> Remus was, like, very eloquent. And she's like, okay, listen, he said something different. I just don't really remember. Um, and then she's like, um, anyway, then, then he, he kissed me. Um, and Remus is like, and how was it? And she's like, that one? And like, probably bad. Because, I mean, I didn't really say anything uh, for a while. And then I just, I just pulled away. And he's like, girl, what? <laughs> um, and she's like, I panicked. So, you know, I, I said I had to go and I had to think about it. And so I left and I went to the prefect common room. And when I got there, James was there. So I told him everything. And then I couldn't stop thinking about it. I couldn't stop thinking that it wasn't right, that it was too soon after my parents died, but then he told me I should date him and that Thomas was great. And of course he's right. He's always right. And so I went back in and I kissed Thomas myself. And Remus is like, girl. <laughs> like he had heard it from James's point of view, but like didn't realize it was that extreme. Like he thought maybe like she had, you know, already told Thomas yes, but then was just still kind of on the edge and then we'll talk to James. But no, it was like, <laughs> she was like, I need to go. Went and talked to James. And then was like, yeah, I'll date him. <laughs> um, so yeah, Remus is just like in shock from that. Um, he's like, why is James in the middle of this getting this together This is not story? what Remus had planned on happening. This is like... not what Remus had planned on happening. But yeah, but so he just like smiles and nodded. And he's like, ah, oh, yeah, that's, that's a cool story, <laughs> Lily. <laughs> anyway. Uh, but they just have a, a regular, you know, class and stuff. But, um, so later that night, <laughs> Remus, like, talks to, Sir talks to Sirius and is like, okay, she's gotta like James. Final answer. Like, I'm mad about Thomas now. <laughs> um, and he was like, but, but Sirius was like, listen, I still kind of stand by what I said this summer. Like, I'm just gonna say it. Lily's had her chance to, like, go for James. So, like, I don't honestly know. I think she's being stupid about this whole thing, but, like, I don't know. She had she had her chance. So they just kind of agreed to disagree about it. 
Um, but yeah. So, <laughs> things are great. <laughs> I love how invested Remus is in all this. <laughs> Well, I think Remus had it in his mind that he's like, oh, she's gonna- He was like, of course they're gonna get together. Like, it wasn't well, even, like, a question. It was just, like, well, a matter was, of time. Like, Yeah, he just kind of figured, like, oh, she'll flirt with Thomas, and then, like, you know, stop. Um, but <laughs> that's not how it went, and <laughs> he's a little concerned. Anyway, let's talk about Thomas's perspective. Let's see how he's doing. <laughs> Um, so he is now, like, the center of attention, which is pretty epic, like, at Hogwarts, you know? Um, <laughs> I say that as if they didn't go to Hogwarts, anyway. In spite of the fact that there's definitely some people who, like, hate Lily due to, like, war, um, for the most part, she's still, like, pretty popular, um, and now he's, and now she's just dating this random Hufflepuff, and he's, like, suddenly there's a lot happening for him, you know? Like, he's invited to all these places, and people who, like, started recognizing, honestly, how, how amazing Thomas is, which is just awesome. Um, but Professor Slughorn is, like, talking to him now. <laughs> like, I feel like he goes and, like, picks Lily up from, like, her potions, you know, class or whatever. And now Slughorn's there, and it's like, okay, cool, you're, you're a chill dude. And he's like, I was in his class for, like, three years, and the man never spoke to me. Um, <laughs> you know? It's like so Professor he's... Slughorn being like, yes, I approve. <laughs> Like, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so even though he, like, had no qualifications to be, like, in the slug club, he, like, showed up for, for a while, you know, with Lily. Um, because now he's, now he's cool. Um, but no, it is kind of, like, another bonding moment between him and Lily, because, like, she'd gone through the same thing, like, last year when she became friends with the Marauders, and it's, like, you know, it's, it's nice. Um, and that's the other thing, now that they're actually dating, he's, like, hanging hanging around with, like, her friends more, and she's doing the same with his. Um, and so he's, like, included in everything, and his surprise, he, like, figures out, oh, like, I actually like these dudes, like, they're, they're cool. Yeah, so they're hanging out more, and he's like, okay, I kind of like these dudes, kind of nice. Um, I feel like he and Peter get along, like, really well, you know? Like, I don't think they're similar a lot. But I feel like their temperaments are similar, you know? Like, they're just kind of like, oh, these all, these, they're crazy, man. Um, and so I feel like they just kind of, like, gravitate towards each other and just end up really kind of liking each other. Um, but I think Thomas gets along, like, reasonably well with Sirius and Remus, but Sirius is just, like, a little bit too loud for him. Um, and he, like, once, I, once he said, like, you know, if I was just, like, sit down with, like, just Remus for longer than like 10 minutes uh without Sirius interrupting us like I feel like we'd get along great but Sirius always seems to just like show up you know like I can I almost never see them without each other um and he's like not that I don't like Sirius but you know he's just he's a little he's a bit much um and Lily's like yeah that's crazy dude <laughs> She's like, really? I never noticed they like to hang out all She's the time. She's like, yeah, yeah, they're really crazy, good friends, you know? <laughs> um, but yeah, but don't worry, this was all cleared up for Thomas one day when, like, Lily had kind of shown him some of the secret passages, and so he used one, and Sirius and Remus are just, like, kissing. <laughs> and, um, he just kind of looks at him, and it's not, like, anything crazy, it's just, like, a cute little quiet moment between them. Um, and Thomas, Thomas just kind of stands there, and they just kind of look at him. Stop. <laughs> and, and I feel like Thomas just, like, is, like, <laughs> just, like, the double thumbs up, and then just leaves. <laughs> like, no words are said. He's just like, alright, cool. <laughs> I love that. <sighs> yeah, and then Thomas and then is great. <laughs> I know, um, but I feel like Remus is, after that happens, Remus is like, well, you know, kind of better than the last time this happened, because <laughs> the last time was Regulus, remember? Um, and Sirius is like, yeah, we really need to stop telling people about these passages, <laughs> and then, like, expecting them to be private, <laughs> so. Um, anyway, so they go into Lily, like, immediately after what happens, which is good, because Thomas had no intention of ever speaking about that ever again, like, if nobody else brought it up, he was never gonna bring it up. He was just gonna be like, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Take the secret to to the grave. <laughs> um 
but yeah, no. So the, from then on, he was much nicer to like to serious when Remus is there because he's like, oh, okay, like I, I guess I get it. He's not just like trying to be obnoxious, you know. Anyway, um, <laughs> so we love that little moment. But I also think, I also think Thomas got along really well with like Mar- Mary, especially. Um, I feel like they just vibed like perfectly, you know. Um, and I think it was like that typical thing where like the boyfriend and like the best friend of of the girl like Loki become best friends too and so he's like he's besties with Mary now like I think one night all the girls had like a spa night and Thomas found out and got really upset that he wasn't included (laughs) because he's like am I not stressed too like I don't get this here um and so the next time like Mary like invited Thomas um and like not Lily should... it's just Mary. no not not Lily <laughs> Mary invited him like Lily didn't even know she I like love shows Mary. up like and, I like Thomas like... is there like getting his nails done and she's like hey she's like she's like who invited Thomas <laughs> and Mary's like oh that was me and she's like okay <laughs> um <laughs> but yeah no I feel like he like he, he sees like a mud mask and he's like no, I'm not doing that. Like, I'm not just gonna put that all over my face. And they're like, dude. He's like, it's mud. That's gross. <laughs> and they're like, dude. <laughs> Did you want to be at the spot eight or not? Yeah, literally. And then I do think they were doing each other's nails. And I feel like, I feel like he was like, you know what? And they were like, you should just do it. And he was like, you know what? Fine. Like, you can you can do like black nails or something. And they're like, okay. And Mary's like, cool. Sirius does that. And he's like, actually, why don't you do clear? <laughs> Like, he's fine with Sirius, but Sirius is not his favorite friend. Um, he was like, I do not want to have matching nails with Sirius. I feel like that would not end well. Um, but yeah. So, the old- so he's- he has a pretty good fun dynamic with, you know, all of- all of Lily's friends, and I feel like she gets along pretty- pretty good with his friends, too. I feel like he- he just has, like, two, you know? <laughs> Like, she has this whole group of, like, many people. He's just got, like, his like, two besties. Yeah. <laughs> and so she gets along great with them, but there's not, like, a whole lot to talk about there. But, um, but the only, like, weird dynamic that Thomas has with anybody in the group is with James. Um. <laughs> I wonder why. I know! So things are just always so awkward. Like, always. Um, and so, like... Before, it was kind of like, okay, we don't really have much in common, so we're just not going to talk to each other. But now Thomas is talking with, like, all of all of their friends. Um, and, like, it's still, like, if they, like, happen to be sitting next to each other for anything, they're just like, hey. And then they don't say anything. <laughs> Why is um, <laughs> Thomas came... Imagine if Thomas just gave him double thumbs down. <laughs> That'd be so bad. That would be like the meanest thing Thomas has ever done. <laughs> anyway, say so, yeah. So they just don't really talk to each other. Um. So they just kind of like nod and say hi to each other, but that's pretty much it. So about three weeks into Lily and Thomas dating, um. Yes, it it, it is. It has been three weeks. We're just gonna yep. Time these past couple episodes have been like, what is even going on? But, um, I hope that's okay with everybody. It makes sense to me, but anyway. But things have barely improved between, um, Thomas and James. Like, they just don't really say anything. Like, he's become pretty good friends with everybody else, but, like, not with James. Um, and so, one day he, like, walks into the prefect common room to, like, find Lily, but he just only sees James. And he's, like, working, he's, like, doing, like, looking at the prefect's list, trying to assign them to stuff or whatever. Um, and so he just kind of, he sees him and he's like, I should probably do something about this. Um, so he's like, hey, you know, (laughs) (laughs) and James looks up and he's like, oh yeah, so Lily is out covering for rounds tonight. Like one of the Slytherin prefects like got super sick. So she's, she's doing that. Sorry, Mm -hmm. dude. Um, and Thomas is like, oh, okay. You know, thanks for telling me that. Yeah. Um. And, and, uh, and James is like, yeah, and he's just kind of standing there, and, like, James is, isn't saying anything, he's like, um, yeah, she's not, like, gonna be back until, like, late, um, uh, and Thomas is like, yeah, right, right, yeah. 
Um, <laughs> and they cool. just don't say anything. And she was just like, is, is there, like, is there something else? <laughs> um, and Thomas was like, yeah, right. Um, so, so I actually, I wanted to talk, talk to you, uh, if, if that's all right. And James was like, like, sure. Why? <laughs> he's like, cool, so what's wrong? Um, and he's like, well, right, well, like, nothing's wrong. Um, he's like, that's, that's kind of what I wanted to say. And James was like, okay. Um, Tom- Thomas isn't good at speaking under pressure. Um, <laughs> and he's like, okay, so I just, I just mean, like, things have been awkward between us. Really? Um, and James is like, James is like, wow, I didn't know. Um, Crazy. <laughs> This is how I am with all my friends. (laughs) No, but Thomas is like, I feel like it's probably my fault. And James is like, it's not your fault. And he's like, well, just hang on for a second. Like, you two were great friends over the summer. Like, great friends over the summer. And then I come along and I butt in and I can see how, like, you wouldn't like that. And James is like, Thomas, I I don't have a problem with you, you know. Um, And Thomas is like, okay, like, I know know you don't, like, have, like, a problem with me. You know, like, I, I know. But, like, I mean... We're not great friends, which is fine. Like, I don't think we have to, we have to be. It's not like we're, like, super similar or whatever. But uh, I just want to make sure, like, you know that, like, I'm fine with you guys, like, being, like, close. Um, He's like, some boyfriends might be, like, super weird about that because, like, you're a dude. Uh, But he's like, but I don't, you know. She told me about this summer, you know. Sounded super fun. He's like, I mean, like, that Queen concert? Amazing. And James is like, she told him about the Queen concert. Um, he hasn't James even is, told. James he, can't even tell serious about this. No, no. And so it's like, oof, that kind of hurt. Um, and then he's like, what else has she said about this? And she, he's like, oh gosh, I'm always just gonna be a friend. He's not doing too well right now. But um, <laughs> but anyway, Thomas is like, okay. Point is like. I know you're not trying to steal my girlfriend, you know? Like, I don't have a problem with you guys being friends. Like, good friends, even. I feel like I feel like I put something, like, between you you guys and, like, um, I, I didn't mean to do that. And then James is like, I'm never going to be as good of a person as Thomas is. Like, what the heck? <laughs> he's, like, he's like, I cannot imagine going up to somebody that is, like, clearly interested in, like, his girlfriend and being like, you know what? Friendships are really important, you know? <laughs> But that's what Thomas did. <laughs> and so James just is like, what the heck? Um, and like, Thomas isn't dumb. Like, he's just, he's just like the least toxic person ever. It's just so nice. I know. And James is like, I don't know how to react. And so this is what he said. He said, you know, I think you did put something between us, but you know, maybe that's not, that's not like a bad thing, you know? She, she should be closer to you than to me. Like, she's dating you after all. And Thomas is like, hmm. Because it's not lost on him that James definitely just implied that, like, they used to be close closer than they were. Like, you know, than they are currently are now. And he's like, okay. Um, and he's like, but James is like, but thank you. Like, it takes a really good person to, to say what you did. And you're right. We don't need to be friends, but we don't have to be, like, weird around each other, you know? And so Thomas is like, yeah. Um, and so, you know, Thomas is like, friends? And they, he holds out his hand and, like, they shake. And, and James is like, yeah, we can be friends. So, shaky, shaky. Just, you can't shake your own hand. And it makes me really angry. So, so how are you doing so far? <laughs> uh, shall we shift to see how Lily's doing? Yeah. Okay. Um, so Lily is doing her rounds that night. Like, doing this random prefect rounds. But Lily's doing those, making up those rounds that night. Um, and so it's been three weeks since she and Thomas got together. And that day had just been crazy and also just incredibly boring. Like, just person after person wanted her to help with something. And she didn't think that she's, like, laughed the entire day. Because it's just been like, hey, can you help with this? And, like, just all of the... Anyway. There's times when being head girl is not fun. Um... But yeah, so Thomas is great, and that's true, um, and, but when, like, days like this, when she had days like this, her first instinct, w- his first instinct was to create, like, a super relaxing environment for her, 
but she's like, no, I need like some some more like adventure to get me out of the rut like this. Like I don't need to just sit around more. Um, but not that Thomas wasn't great, of course. She liked him a lot. Um, in fact, the more she felt she thought about it, she was like, he's like exactly what I have always like wanted in like an ideal boyfriend, like always. Like dream boy. He's like funny, he's kind, he's like emotionally intelligent, he's not arrogant, he's not impulsive. He's not obsessed with Quidditch, um, and he's cute, hmm. but he's, like, yeah, anyway. Those last um, couple ones are kind of a little specific, not gonna lie. Anyway, anyway <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna move on, um, but yeah, and he's, like, cute, but not, like, insanely attractive, you know? There's, like, there are boys who, like, know that they're, like, really attractive, um, and she hates that. Those boys, you know, are, like, James, um, and yeah. they're always, like, running their hands yeah. through their hair and, like, having a stupid cocky smile, you know? Anyway, but Thomas wasn't like that. Thomas is Thomas is great. Um, but they've never so much as, like, gotten in, like, a minor argument. Like, not like her and James, who, like, always are bickering over everything. Um, <laughs> and, oh, my and Tom- gosh. Thomas is always just, like, willing to, like, work it out. He's like, you know what? Like, we're going to figure it out. You know, like, that's that's very much him, uh, which she likes. Um, and he's not, like, high strung. Um, and it's just very nice compared to all of her friends in the past. Like, even Snape was, like, willing to fight, like, immediately. Like, what the heck? Um, so it's it's a breath of fresh air to have somebody that's not <laughs> always ready to fight <laughs> genuinely. Like, anyway. Um, but yeah, like, even, like, Snape was, like, a jerk to her the other week, and Thomas just did, like, the exact right thing that she's always, like, tried to get the others to do. Like, he didn't, like, threaten Snape. He didn't, like, you know, be like, oh, I'm gonna curse you, you know? Um, <laughs> but he also, like, wasn't a pushover. He was just like, yo, Snape, like, stop what you're doing. Um, he's like, you gotta get out of our way and just go away. And Snape was like, why should I? And he was like, because we don't want to see you. So get out of here. Like, we, she's moved on from you, bud. You know? And just, like, pushed <laughs> past him. And it was just weird, because Lily's like, haven't I always said that that would work, you know? <laughs> um... <laughs> It's not the dramatic move, though. Like, what does she expect? But but yes. But yes. But still, she, like, didn't get, like, butterflies in her stomach like she thought she would when something like that happened, you know? So now she has everything that she wanted, but it doesn't, like, feel like how she thought it would. She thought that it would feel like that night when James had been, like, so freaking annoying at the first slug club party and, like, impressed everyone. And then he held her shoes for the entire walk home just because she was uncomfortable. Um, She thought it would feel like... Um, how it felt when, like, James, like, held her arm that night, even though, like, it was fake, um, and, like, not real at all, and, like, neither of them had feelings at all, you know? Um, I know, yeah. (laughs) Um, and then, like, she almost kissed him that night just because it had all felt, like, right, and she's like, hmm, things don't feel like that, but now everything is right, and it, like, still doesn't feel that way, anyway. Uh, but- All of those examples, there was, like, a common factor that, No, I don't know what you're talking about, that's crazy. (laughs) Um, but, you know, and she's like, why, why doesn't this feel right? And she's like, maybe it is actually, like, too soon, you know? Like, since September, everything has just been feeling weird, and it's, it's late November now. Um, and although, like, a lot had gone back to normal, some things hadn't. And she's like, and this is probably just one of them, you know? Um, and she's like, I don't know. And she had, she had even, like, told this to Thomas. She had been like, because sometimes she just wasn't really, like, feeling it. And she's like, I don't know why. Like, I feel like it's still, like, my parents and, and all that stuff. And he's like, yeah. He's like, that's, like, perfectly normal. Like, it's okay. Um, and he just reacts exactly, like, how she would want him to in that situation. Um, but he's like, but if you want to, like, take a break, like, we can. He's like, I don't, you know, he was always ready to do things on her terms, which is exactly what she wanted. And so she's, yeah. We love Thomas. This um, is just great. <laughs> Anyway, Lily has been, her mind has just been, like, I just read all of her thoughts that have, like, happened as she's on this Quidditch round right now. Um, and so she didn't realize that she's been, like, just not really doing her rounds and instead just walking around, like, this one (laughs) place, like, in a circle, like, just taking, like, right turns, like, too many times. Um, and then finally, um, a voice stops her and it's like, Miss Evans, are you all right? And it's McGonagall. We love her. Um, And Lily's like, oh yeah, sorry. And McGonagall's like, you walked past my door like six times. And she's like, yep, sure did. Um, (laughs) 
She's like just a little lost in thought. I'll, I'll just I'll be on my way. She's like, no, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't think you are just gonna walk away. Um, she's like, why don't you go to the office? Uh, she's like, just we'll we'll have a biscuit, you know. Um, we love Minerva. I love the um, And so she does. And to her surprise, guess who's also in there? It's Madame Pomfrey. Um, <laughs> because they're having their nighttime tea session. <laughs> Yeah, meaning like actual like tea that you drink and also like like tea, you know. Um, and she's like, "Yep, yeah, me, me and Poppy just having a long talk. You know how the castle has been recently. You know, I wanted the calming draft. She brought it. She brought an extra. Do you want one too?" And Lily's like, "Heck yeah, I do." Um, and so anyway, so Lily's just kind of sipping, sitting there quietly sipping her her little calming tea thing. Um, and then after a while, um. Madame Pomfrey asks, like, how have you been? Like, I expected to see you more, like, after everything, you know, you're, you know, you're always free to talk to me, right? Like, I help with more than just, like, broken bones. Um, and then Lily's like, yeah. Um, and then she almost starts to cry, and then she's like, shoot, dude. Um, and then she's like, I don't like crying. And she's like, I've just, it's just been, it's been a lot. She's like, but really, I'm fine. Like, she's like, I have great friends. I have Thomas, you know, I'm fine. Um, and so she's like, oh, so you and, you and Mr. Emery's, you know, you're getting along pretty well then. And she's like, yep. Um, and <laughs> McGonagall's like, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't even realize you guys were friends. Um, and <laughs> Lily's like, hmm, so about that. Um, and so then she just tells the whole story of, like, how they met and, like, how everything was and all of this stuff. And it all just comes tumbling out, like, everything that she was thinking earlier about, like, it, it is right. And, but it doesn't really feel right, all that stuff. And they they both know, you know? <laughs> yeah. They're, they're, they're James has probably like... had this exact conversation with McGonagall, like, not even a week ago. <laughs> like, literally. And they're, like, they were very much like you, where they're, like, hmm, there's a common denominator <laughs> between all of these things. And it ain't Thomas, I'll tell you that. Um, but, anyway... So after anyway, after she's done, she's like apologize and and um Pomfrey is like, no, don't don't you need it to tell somebody. Like I can't imagine how this feels to like just have it all inside of you, you know? Um and she's like, I heard many stories like that since I've been here. Obviously not the exact same, but it's completely normal to wonder why like it sh- what should be perfect doesn't feel perfect. And she's like, why doesn't it? Um and then <laughs> they they kind of look at each other and they're like, mm, you know, Poppy and Minerva. Um, and Poppy's like, in my own life and what I've observed, you know, love and this stuff doesn't always follow what you think it should. And like, that's all right, you know? So they had a good chat. We love them. Um, also, for people who are like, do, do I ship... Um, McGonagall and Madame Pomfrey. I think, yep, maybe. You know? <laughs> like, I'm not gonna say I do, but I, but also, like, entirely a possibility, you know? that's the, Those are my feelings on it. <laughs> anyway, so you can think what you want. That's your version. Um, <laughs> anyway, so, we're gonna, we're gonna say this is, like, a week later. It's coming up on, like, Lily and Thomas's first month anniversary, very exciting. Um, and Thomas is planning something cute. Um, and he definitely consulted like Sirius and Remus about like the best spot to have like a little romantic getaway. They're thing. like, you should go to this little spot in the forest. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> like, tell me why we're literally going to talk. Anyway, that's going to come back in a second. Um, but he's like, I don't know. He's like, what's a good place to do it without getting in trouble? And they're like. How are you gonna get in trouble? She's literally head girl. Um, but anyway, so but they tell him like, oh, the astronomy tower is really nice. Like you could do a little picnic up there; it might be cute. Um, and so you know that's kind of Thomas's plan. But Lily still has a lot on her mind, um, and she like she wants to like Thomas. She really does, and she thinks that she does. Up until that conversation with Minerva and and um, Pomfrey, and now she's like, hmm. Now I don't feel like it's grief interrupting my feelings, and I'm I'm getting a little worried. <laughs> and so this this mm. week, and then especially like this week, because like Thomas and James are like kind of bros now, um, <laughs> like not really, but like better than they better used to than be. they were. 
Oh yeah, so it's definitely, there's some, there's some complications, but Thomas, Thomas has noticed a change too. He's like wondering if like James maybe said something to her, like after that night, but he also like highly doubts it. So anyways, they just kind of keep on going. Um, so it's the night before their anniversary though. Um, and Lily and James are alone in the prefect common room. Um, something that has not happened for like longer than like a few minutes since, since she and Thomas started dating, like not on purpose. It just kind of hadn't happened. Um, and they didn't have nearly as much work as they thought they did, so they start thinking about, like, all the first year's events that, like, now they're planning on a monthly basis because we love them. And James is like, literally, you brought this up right before I was mentioning. He's like, I don't know. I still feel like we could take them into the forest and not, like, get in too much trouble. <laughs> and he's like, I mean, like, we know all, like, the neutral paths because of Remus. And she's like, James, wasn't the only reason we didn't freaking die because Remus was there and they knew he wasn't human and he's like okay so we bring Remus along no big deal um <laughs> and they're like and Lily just throws a pillow at him um and so he's like oh no we don't have to I mean like you're right we'd hate to have kids take those centaurs too seriously she's like it is written and then they just burst into the like out <laughs> <laughs> both just start laughing and James is like oh my gosh I almost forgot about that and she's like really and he's like no it's been burned into my brain ever <laughs> since um and then they both start laughing again um you know Weren't the centaurs like, also like James isn't really human <laughs> but they've never brought that up he's been able to like sweep that under the rug and like not have her realize it at all um but anyway yeah he's like yeah he's like I'd hate to have all those first years think that Voldemort would would die as a result of like kissing their classmate you know and they're like oh haha um uh -huh. but yeah and then lily's and then lily's kind of like you know we never did try that did we and james was like <laughs> and she's like <laughs> what um it's and it's literally just... her one month anniversary like lily the night before anyway um so <laughs> She kind of meant it to be a joke, and then it, like, wasn't, and then James was very much, like, not happy about her saying that, and she's like, ha um, It's kind of weird of her to say, not gonna like... <laughs> Yeah, um, and she's like, okay, things are really, for sure, different, like, we cannot joke about that, like, even a little bit anymore. Um, and so she's trying to, like, find something else to say, and so she's like, you know, that day, that day was still really great, like, you know, I won't forget that, and James was like, yeah, yeah, that day was, was pretty great. And she's like, you know, thank you. And he's like, well, don't thank me. Thank, like, Sirius and Remus. Like, they planned the whole thing. She's like, yeah, they planned it, but, like, you were mo what made it, like, great. And James was like, is she... <laughs> Girl, <laughs> what? Are you okay? I don't think you're prepared for what's about to happen. Um... <laughs> But something comes over James, and he's just like, don't, don't say that. Uh, and she's like, why not? And he's like, you know why. Um, and he just, like, looks right at her. And she's just, like, getting, like, all of these nervous feelings. Like, her heart is beating so fast, she can, like, barely breathe. And then it all finally, finally, finally it hits her. And she's like, oh my gosh. And she's like, James is still freaking interested in me. Like, that has never crossed her mind before now. Um, and so even though, when, even when he had told her to date Thomas, she was like, how could I not have seen it? Like, all summer. It wasn't, and it wasn't just him either. She's like, my, she's now realizing that she kind of has feelings for him. And she's loved James the entire time too. And she just regrets everything. But then James stands up and is like, I should go. And she's like, no, James, don't. And he's like, no, really, you have a big day tomorrow. And then she's like, shoot, I'm dating someone else. And that someone else is Thomas, the nicest person on the freaking planet. Um, and so James just looks at her waiting for her to say something, but she didn't, she can't. And so he just, he leaves. Um... So, <laughs> she realized. Oh my finally, gosh! Good for her. Little little self awareness in the chat. Um, 
from Lily. It's about freaking time. Anyway, uh, we gotta finish this up. Anyway, James walks out of the room, wants to pass away. Simply wants to be gone. <laughs> um, he's like, saw it in her eyes, like she realized what he had said, it all finally clicked, and he just can't handle it. He's like, she has so much going on right now. She had made plans to like, stay at Thomas's for Christmas. And, like, they were going great together. And now he's like, why did I say that? Why, like, she was so blissfully ignorant of all of this stuff. And now, like, she's got all this. Anyway, um, now things are very complicated. And he's like, and I'm sure she's going to tell Thomas. Because, like, and Thomas is probably going to be, like, weirdly okay with it, you know? Like, <laughs> because he's just because perfect. It's Thomas. Yeah. Uh, um, and then James would feel like a, literally the most awful person in the world. Um, and so he doesn't even go back to his dorm that night. He, like, goes to the frickin' room of requirement and just stays there, because he's like, I- I can't- I can't talk. <laughs> like, I don't know what's going on. He did- he probably did a night run and a morning run, you know? Probably. He's gotta he get stuck out of his head. I don't know, man. Um, but yeah, so the next morning is the worst. Absolutely agony, because Lily and Thomas, it's their anniversary, um, and they are sitting together at the Gryffindor table, and James is, like, sitting on the furthest end of the group as he can. Um, and, like, you know, the boys are kind of like, oh, where were you last night? And he was like, oh, I just got, like, whatever, like, sickness is going around. I was in the hospital wing. Yep. Uh, and Lily, like, notices, and she, she knows, and he knows, and they're like, mm, not good. Um, but yeah, so uh, later that night... All he could think about is like whatever fantastic date that Thomas had put together and he's like and they're probably freaking making out and like <laughs> and here I am sad um so it's it's the worst he's not having a great time uh but he refused to tell anybody what happened like not even serious like nobody um and again he doesn't just want to stay in his room and not really talk to anybody so he's like just wandering around the castle pretending to like do rounds and stuff you know, just to kind of walk, um, and then suddenly he turns a corner and runs straight into a short redhead, and it's Lily, um, and she looks just as surprised to see him as he was to see her, and they just kind of look at each other, um, and then he's like, do you have, like, your anniversary date, like, right now? And she's like, I broke up with him. Um, and James Crazy. is like, James is like, why? And she's like, you know why. You know why. <laughs> and James is like, oh my gosh, he feels like he's dreaming, like he can't even, but his, he's like, my brain could not come up with this. Um, and then she keeps on talking and she's like, I realize I could never be, be as happy with him, never be as happy with anyone as I am with you. And James is like, you, you broke up with him because of me? And she's like, yeah. And he's like, can I kiss you? And she's like, yeah. And then they kiss. Oh my gosh. Everybody clap. <laughs> <laughs> the double thumbs up. <laughs> oh, haha. Ha. I didn't finish this. This is where I ended it. This is not how the episode ends. One second. I forgot to keep on writing. <laughs> it's so <laughs> Oh my gosh, no, this is not <laughs> anyway, so I feel like I feel like it's great. I feel like it's perfect. Like it's just what they imagined. It's like, yes, fireworks going off. It's all the perfect stuff, all the cliches. Um But Lily pulls away for a second and he's like, What? Like shoot, is something already wrong? She's like, No, I'm I'm this is great. The issue is I literally just broke up with Thomas and like he's coming down from the issue. <laughs> yeah. And she's like, We should probably not be making out in the hallway. When he comes down and James is like, you're so absolutely right. And so then they like go off to the prefect common room and they're just, they're being great. Everything's great. Um, we finally have Jilly, guys. It's, it only took... Oh my gosh. Forever. It only took two episodes and 11, or two seasons and 11 episodes for it to work out. Yeah. For, no, this is episode 10, my bad. Anyway, um... But it's great, but when they, you know, have finally kind of 
calm down and they're like in private or whatever. Uh, but anyway, they basically, the last thing before this ends, although it is great, they decide that they're not going to tell anybody for a while because she's like, we can't tell the school because poor Thomas. She's like, I feel so bad for him. Like, we're not going to. Yeah. Because literally she told, she told him, she's like, I don't think it's going to work out. And guaranteed, Thomas was like, okay, just go date James. You know? He was like, I, you, if you're going to break up with me, you have to get together with James. Like, you just have to. So, like, she's like, we have to treat him with respect. And I was going to do that by, like, not dating you for a couple weeks. And then, obviously, this just happened in the hallway. Um, so, she's like, we got we to gotta keep it on the DL. So, they're not even going to tell their friends. James has never been on the DL about anything. No, never. But they, they do agree that they're not even going to tell their friends for a while just because out of respect for Thomas. But, yeah. So, that's pretty much the end. I wish I had written the end so I like would have a better way to do it but I was like I was like like yes congrats anyways anyway that's it but yeah so that's the end of the episode are, are we happy are we happy yeah I, I feel like Kristen's gonna be so mad because because <laughs> she's just here and hasn't heard any of it She's, no, she left to go watch The Bachelorette without me. The freaking Bachelorette. Yeah. When we have, when we have this great love story. That's our, like, whole activity. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe you. Well. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm so glad. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> and now, now all the fun start, all the fun stuff happens. Because I will yeah. remind you, there's a couple things that need to happen that haven't happened. One of them being... Uh, not Lily great things well no like there are still good things like Lily doesn't okay. know that they're animagists oh. she still doesn't know that yeah you know she doesn't there's yeah there's still some good stuff to come but that that won't be for a couple episodes but there's some other fun fun stuff um yeah well <laughs> I just clicked like off of you being like pinned and I was like, oh, I forgot I am just purple. Yep. <laughs> You're having That's a good fun. time. Yeah. Um Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to end this. It's just it's good. Congrats, we did it. We made it. Um nobody oh, this is what I'm gonna say. Absolutely nobody in the YouTube comment section can spoil what happened. Not, not a soul. Nobody can. So if you're gonna, if you're gonna post something, you better put, like, spoilers in all caps, red emojis, you know? <laughs> and then, like, make it so that you have to click to open in order to say anything. Because I swear if somebody gives this away, I'm gonna throw hands. So, anyway, that's my rant. <laughs> so I don't know when this is gonna come out. I don't know anything about it, but... <laughs> We'll figure it out. Yeah, but hopefully hopefully if I drop my classes, I'll have, like, more time to do stuff like this, because now things are, like, exciting. Drop your classes so you can podcast. I'm dropping my classes so I can have a social life as well. Because I'm not, like, I'm not, like, dying. I just don't have any time for anything else right now. Like, that's why I'm dropping things, so. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I gotta go drive my roommate somewhere. Uh, I don't even know where yet. So, I'm gonna Fun. have to hop off of this soon. Um, do you have any yeah. final thoughts about about anything? James is great. And I love Remus being really invested at the start. That was funny. <laughs> Just wait till he finds out, because he, he's not gonna <laughs> find out for a little while, either. But, um, yeah. That's great. Double thumbs up for Thomas. I'm sorry that I had to give him, like, such a, like, he's just here for th for this, you know? I'm gonna give Tom, I'm gonna give Thomas a happy ending. I thought of his happy ending as I was writing this episode, but it won't come for a while because it wouldn't make sense for it to yet, but, um. He and Mary can still be besties, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're gonna be besties, for sure. Um, and, like, I feel like they're still gonna be, like, friends, but, like, the awkward kind of friends you are when you <laughs> break up with someone. <laughs> but, like, they're not going to hate each other or anything. We still love Thomas. We're always going to think good of Thomas. Yeah. Um, Thomas is so. great. Yeah. Um, 
But you can put an F in the chat for Thomas, because it is a little bit sad for him. But, mm. anyway. Anyway, uh, this is it. Congrats, you made it. <laughs> I don't know, I like forgot how to end these. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching and listening. Big shout out to Benji Wilson for the audio and for Metamorph Montes for the uh, cover art. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, hopefully we'll still be able to kind of record and post somewhat regularly. Maybe not every week, but every other week, maybe. Nice. Um, something like that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Bye! We still gotta do thumbnail stuff. I feel like me being in space is like enough of a like. <laughs> the 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 thumbnail is just gonna be like you. Like it's not gonna be me and like with the with the Photoshop stuff behind it. Like just just give a double just... thumbs up and like that's gonna be it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs>